This is no ordinary gift box. In fact, this is an exploding box card designed by Kat Waskett for Papercraft Inspirations magazine. We love the 3D finish. And here, if when you lift the lid off the box, the card flaps out and all the secrets inside are revealed. This design is created with this beautiful 3D heart that stands in the centre. And these side panels in the internal box give you the option to put in extra tags with special secret messages for the lucky recipient. We'll show you the basics of how to make this special, special exploding box. First of all, we want to cut and score three pieces of white card following the templates provided in the magazine for this project. Or you can download the templates full size from our website, papercraftinspirationsmagazine.co.uk. These three templates will be the outside of the box, the lid, and the inside panel, which is where we saw those secret pockets. Once you've um, cut and scored these, you can see how these will fold up together when, and you can secure and decorate them to make these extra pockets that provide the exciting detail on the inside of the box. We're decorating our box with papers from the Ooh La La collection from Kaiser Craft. These brown spotty papers are used on the inside of the main box and then we've got these blue aqua floral papers or squares on the outside so when it closes it it works like that. On the inner panel of the box we've used the same aqua floral papers and we've used these peat lattice papers as well so you get a nice contrast between the uh, the brown spots and the nice pink. So the pockets we've decorated on this side with the peach lattice papers too. So now I'm going to secure the two uh, flaps together so that then they're ready to be a secret pocket in the finished panel. I'm using a Kalal glue here. Um, you want something that will dry clear but you could use a tacky PVA as well or if you've got a glue gun they're always really handy. You just want to ink the part of the pocket where it's going to overlap with the other one. Um, I will just hold it in place with a bulldog clip while that's drying. Then I'm going to repeat that on the other side of the box as well. The central heart in this design looks so impressive, but it's actually just made up of these eight one centimeter wide strips of paper. You need two 12 centimeters, two 11 centimeters, two 9.8 centimeters, and two 8.4 centimeters long. Take the two 12 centimeter ones, put a little bit of glue at the bottom of one, and then stick the other one to it so that the dark, darkest peach is facing inwards. Now take one of the 11 centimeter strips and secure it at the bottom to the first of your 12 centimeter ones. We're going to carry on in this way, just putting glue at the bottom with the peach, the darker peach side facing in, and each time just putting one of the shorter lengths of, of strip on the inside. So there, we've done one side. Let's swift, flip it over. So glue on the bottom of this side, then on with the 11 centimeter strip. It's a bit more glue. Then we're going to put on our 9.8 centimeter strip. Again, the darker peach is facing inwards in the middle, so they're all facing into the center. There's our shortest strip going on the end now, so we've got our nice fan shape. Let's secure it while it dries. Now that those ends are fully secured together, we're going to bend these strips round and fan them down so that all the different lengths of strip will help to create the heart shape that's going to sit in the center of the box. So starting with the two shortest strips, they're the ones on the outside, the ones that you secured at the end of the last one. You want to put a little bit of glue on the end, secure them together. Now, similar to how we did it the first end, we're going to work our way around the shape, adding a little bit of glue at the bottom and bending each strip round. So each time you're bending the slightly longer strip round this time until we've worked all the way around one side of the heart and you can see how that's starting to give us that nice heart shape we're after. So let's flip it over. We'll do the same on the other side. So just a little bit of glue at the bottom of each of the strip. You're bending round the strips each time and securing them together until you get that lovely heart shape. And because of the different lengths you get a lovely sort of splayed effect of all different hearts within each other. So let's secure that again and leave it to dry. Once it's dry, we want to attach it to the inside panel on your uh, inside box card. So you want to use quite a lot of glue. You've got a nice flat surface on the bottom of the heart where you've stuck those papers together. So it gives you a good surface to balance on. We're gonna help support the flower and cover up some of that glue using these flowers from Wild Awkward Crafts. 
they uh, you can tuck them right in next to the next to the base of your heart. So as well as kind of helping to obscure some of this glue, it, it's got to be it, it's a clear drying glue, but you still want to make sure you don't see the shine. They tuck around quite nicely, and uh, the extra bonus you get is that because of their three D nature the heart can be sort of supported by them while it's drying, which is which is a good side effect. Look out for more creative ideas for your card making in Papercraft Inspirations magazine. <laughs>